Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 101 of 2021, reappointing His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa as Southern Governor for a four year term. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a phone call with His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed of Amman following Shaheen tropical cyclone and the damages it caused. His Majesty affirmed the kingdom's support to Amman to overcome the situation following the storm's aftermath. He offered his condolences to His Majesty the Sultan, the families of the victims, and the people of Amman, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the disease in eternal peace, to return the missing ones safely, and to protect Amman from harm. His Majesty Sultan Haytham expressed his appreciation to His Majesty the King for his noble feelings towards the Sultanate and its people, which embody the deep bilateral ties, wishing him abundant health and well-being, and the kingdom of its people and its people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the citizens of the Southern Governorate who expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty's care for them through various development projects and various fields. His Majesty welcomed the guests, engaged with them in friendly conversations, and expressed pride in their contributions and patriotism. He added that the kingdom is heading towards the post-pandemic phase and normal life is returning, thanks to God and the efforts of all. His Majesty affirmed the importance of such occasions as it represents a tradition that the leadership and the people are keen on maintaining throughout history for the sake of the development of the kingdom through goodwill and unity. He affirmed that the kingdom's achievements are the results of the efforts of the citizens as well as their patriotism, which enabled the country to deal with various challenges, praying that it will continue to enjoy security and goodwill. After that, poet Ali Ahmed al-Rumehi recited a poem to mark the occasion to whom His Majesty was thankful. استعنت بخالقي وانشيت من حرفي بياني واستهلت وامطرت ديم الهجوس العقربية من مكاني سقتها قصر الصخير من مكاني ابتديها باسمك اللهم ربي والتحية يا سلام الله سلاما يا العديم الصير ماني شيخنا الزيزوم قايدنا حمد زبن الونية يا البشوش الحاني الأب العطوف المرحباني يا جواد معطيا يا راعي الكفة الندية يا حكيما حاسما يثبت لي مال الزمان يا وريث العز يا نسل الشيوخ الوائلية من قديم فاللوازم كل ما مس البطاني تاردون حياضها من عادها بقعه صبية يا هل العادات ما بهدونها الخضرة تواني واثقين ان بالله هل يخص حكام ورعية حبكم وسط العيون وبين حدبات المحاني ما لحق هدنا تشك وانقلح حتما علي عن رفاع العز عن عسكر وعن جو مكاني عن مدينة عيسى والزلاق والدور الوفية عن أهاليها الجنوبية ومشاعرهم تراني قاطف زهر الغلا وقدمه في مزهرية النفل والياسمين بها ورد الديدحاني باقة يعلها تنقل عن الخافي شوية عن مشاعر 
طفلا بعينه محبتكم تباني عن مشاعر شايبا وصى بكم جملة ذوية والمشاعر في اختصار في دعاء وامتناني نحمد المولى عطانا شيخنا أثمن عطية ونحمد الله يرتفع من فوقنا صوت الأذاني ونحمد الله رافع عنا الوبا صبح وعشية والثناء بعد أهلكم وأهل العزم وأهل التفاني والولي العهد عساف المهمات العصية ويا بلادي يا هنا عمري ومبداي وأماني يلا هن تجعل جميع أيامها الخضراء هنية ورفرفي يا رايت من فوق عالية المباني عانقي كل النجوم ودارنا حرة أبية ولا عدمنا شوفكم يا شيخنا في كل آني وهني اللي يشوفك واسعد حظه وحيه طلة ما كان هلا طلة سهيل اليماني ساعة ما كان هلا ساعة الوسم همية يا عسى عمرك مديد ممتلي فوز وتهاني يا حمدنا يا ذرانا فالملمات القوية عن مكلفني وعنا وعن كل قاصي وداني الولى والود من نبض المعاليق النقية حن على عهد وبيعه ما يغيرنا الزماني ما تزعزعنا الظروف وما مشينا بالخطية ذات مثالي وذا ما جيت به من جو عاني قافن منقى وجيت أقدمه لجلك هدية ما بدعته لجل قول الناس صح الله لساني وما كتبته طامعا أو بنفاق أو بدنية الشعر موروثنا ونحمد المولى هداني وهبي نحت البيوت الطيبات الأجودية صغتها في قصركم يا شوق زاهيت المعاني في ديار نارها من سالف الأيام حية في جنوب من رفاعه ما تحدر للطماني من رقاله شم طيب وشم ريح الشاذلية والشكر لله إلهي رازق ربي كفاني والختام أزكى صلاة الله على أحمد نبيه وسلامتكم من يسمع طبعا أحسنت The citizens express thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King as well as happiness over the occasion. They said that it represents His Majesty's keenness on communicating with them. They wished him further health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the head of the Al Murra tribe, Amir Faisal bin Muhammad bin Shreem Al Murri. His Majesty welcomed the guests and engaged in friendly conversation. He wished him health and goodwill. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Skhir Palace, the Vicar Apostolic of Southern Arabia, Bishop Paul Hinder, on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the bishop, expressing appreciation for his humanitarian efforts aimed at spreading the values of tolerance and good deeds. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain takes pride in embracing various religions and sects as one unified and open family as a result of the awareness of its people, known for their tolerance and hospitality. He expressed pride in the kingdom's continuous noble initiatives to increase cultural dialogue between religions, hailing the vital role of King Hammond Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and its efforts in this regard. His Majesty reviewed with the bishop a number of topics that contribute to bolstering the cultural and religious dialogue and tolerance between the followers of monotheistic religions and the adherence to the approach of moderation and rejection of extremism. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 52 of 2021 to appoint Maryam Isa Al Manna'i as Director of the Human and Financial Directorate at the Southern Governorate. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the achievements made in the Saudi Camel Federation Cup translate the support that popular heritage sports receive from His Majesty the King, noting that the new achievements made by Sarh will be a motivation for further success in the upcoming participations. 
His Highness expressed pleasure with Sarah's winning first place in the Open Zumul race. His Highness affirmed keenness on leaving a mark at the Saudi Camel Federation Cup on affirming the status of this advanced sport in Bahrain and on winning first place in all participations. He added that camel sports are among the distinct aspects of heritage and that Saudi Arabia has always devoted considerable attention to cultural and sports heritage, which was evident in the Saudi Federation Cup. He also praised the efforts of the organizing committee and its keenness on the success of the championship. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited Bahrain Sports Club and Youth Sports Club as part of His Highness's keenness to enhance communication with sports facilities. His Highness met with the president of Bahrain Sports Club, Dr. Abdul Rahman Rashid Al Khashram, and the president of the Youth Sports Club, Mirza Ahmed Ali, as well as a number of members. His Highness expressed appreciation for the efforts of Bahrain Sports Club in serving Bahraini sports. He hailed the efforts of the Youth Sports Club, which is considerable one, considered one of the successful model clubs. His Highness wished the two clubs success and affirmed keenness on translating the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to develop the sports system, expressing aspirations to provide an optimal sports environment in all sports authorities. His Highness then listened to a briefing from the presidents of the clubs regarding their future plans that aim to develop the sports sector of the kingdom. The club's president expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his continuous support and hailed his efforts and contributions to serving the sports sector in the kingdom. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fuzzy Yazinan, received member of the British House of Lords, Lord George Robertson, during which they discussed ways to enhance bilateral relations in various fields. Zainal affirmed that Bahrain is keen to support joint relations with the United Kingdom at all levels, especially the parliamentary field, in light of the comprehensive development process of His Majesty the King. She stressed that Bahrain, in light of the role of the government, headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, is deeply interested in the well-being and success of its people. Lord Robertson praised the bilateral relations, stressing his keenness to further support the joint parliamentary cooperation. The President of the National Audit Office, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, chaired the meeting of the heads of GCC auditing bodies. He affirmed the importance of GCC cooperation to further develop the field in the interests of the citizens. The meeting discussed the effects of the pandemic on auditing, including the efforts to digitize its operations. The participants also discussed an agenda for joint auditing work in order to ensure quality control as per the regulations of GCC auditing bodies. The Sustainable Energy Authority President, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, participated in a webinar held by the U.S. Embassy in Bahrain and the SEA as part of Explore America Week 2021. The, web the webinar, entitled Investment Opportunities in Solar and Wind Energy Projects and Ways to Energy Transformation, with the participation of more than 135 senior American companies, business figures, and investors from the U.S., Dr. Mirza briefed them on the Kingdom's progress in the transition to sustainable energy and its importance uh, important achievements within a record period. He highlighted factors that makes Bahrain a great investment environment for sustainable energy sector, especially because of the kingdom's strategic regional location.
The Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and CEO of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak Mandana, praised Bahrain's achievements in the field of reducing carbon emissions at airports, as Bahrain International Airport was able to meet all requirements to upgrade to Level 3 optimization as stipulated by the Airport Council International Airport Carbon Accreditation Program. The Special Envoy commended Bahrain Airport Company's efforts and the health, safety and environment team in this regard, stressing the keenness of SCE to continue supporting the efforts adopted by various sectors in the kingdom to preserve the environment and limiting the effects of climate change. Dr. Bendaina noted that this achievement is added to the series of Bahrain's achievements in the field of environmental preservation, adaptation and mitigation of the effects of climate change, especially that BIA is among the 25 airports in Asia and the Middle East that have obtained this accreditation, which reflects the commitment of the airport's employees and their keenness to develop Bahrain's reputation in this field, which contributes to achieving the Sustainable Development Goals and the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The executive director of Nasser Vocational Training Center, Dr. Abdullah Nasser Al Naimi, received at the center's headquarters in Jau the Indian ambassador to Bahrain, Piyush Sri Vastava, and his accompanying delegation. Dr. Abdullah gave a comprehensive briefing on the center and its services in the fields of technical and vocational training, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence. Then he reviewed the center's progress since its establishment, explaining the developments it underwent, especially those in line with the aspirations of the representative of His Majesty the for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Center's Board of Trustees, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King. The meeting also discussed the importance of building strong foundations for joint cooperation between the Center and the Indian Embassy. On the occasion, the Ambassador praised the high level of material and human capabilities that enabled the Center to be one of the top centers in the field of education and training. He praised the interest that the leadership of Bahrain attaches to developing joint cooperation between the two friendly countries. I would like to say artificial intelligence and IT is an area where we can collaborate and I will work for it. Uh, also other areas which I would uh, uh, say the have potential is exchange of youths in different programs between this center and uh, corresponding Indian centers and also some training scholarship programs and at, at the end I must say I, I am really thankful to uh, Dr. Abdullah Nasser the president of the institute for uh, giving me this wonderful picture of his majesty's visit to India which uh, was indeed a landmark visit which set the roadmap for our contemporary bilateral relations. So I thank you, the entire team of the Sheikh Nasser Vocational Center for having me here and giving me this briefing. And I do look forward to closely working with the center and collaborate uh, between the corresponding institute, more collaboration between this center and uh, centers in India. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference to provide an update on the Kingdom's COVID-19 response. The Under Secretary at the Ministry of Health and member of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Dr. Walid Almana, stated that COVID-19 mitigation efforts will continue according to plan until the Kingdom reaches its goals. For his part, the infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital and member of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Lt. Col. Dr. Manaf al Gahtani noted that shots have been approved for those who are 18 years of age and above who have received a second dose of the Pfizer and AstraZeneca or Sputnik V vaccine at least six months ago. Eligible individuals can opt for the Pfizer vaccine or the same vaccine they have received for the first and second doses as a booster shot. The consultant on infectious diseases and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex and member of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus, Dr. Jamila Salman provided updates on the national vaccination campaign focusing on the vaccination of children.